tonight with viewer videos showing the arrest of a man in South Central El Paso who police say later died at the hospital. Good evening, everyone, and thank you so much for tuning in to KTSM 9 News at 10. I'm Monica Cortez. Our KTSM 9 News reporter Oriana Botaro breaks down what was captured on camera and what a civil rights attorney says about the incident. We do want to warn you, what you're about to see is a little disturbing to some. Yasmin Alvarado was driving in South Central El Paso Sunday afternoon when she saw police working to arrest a man near Alameda Avenue and South San Marcial Street. She pulled her phone out and began recording. And then there's one guy where he, he's like kicking his head and then kicking like around his arm. Um, I don't know what he did to get to that extreme. It was obvious he was, uh, uh, refusing arrest, but it was a little bit extreme. In the video, you can see the man running away from police before suddenly falling to the ground. At least six officers are then seen piling on top of the man, one officer kicking and stomping something out of the man's hand. Alvarado says it was a shocking sight to see in broad daylight. It was a little bit extreme, especially if you hit in the head, it's it's very dangerous. You can get a convulsion, you get a seizure, you, many things. El Paso police say the man was wandering in and out of traffic before he was arrested. However, they did not say what happened between the man being arrested and him dying at the hospital later on. Civil rights attorney Randall Callanan tells me the cause of death could be linked to several reasons, but we won't have any clarity until the medical examiner's report is finished and body camera footage is released. Until then, Callanan says there are things the community can do to get more transparency when it comes to cases like this one. I think uh, the people of El Paso can go to the city council the mayor and city council and say, hey, uh, mayor and city council, the people, we people want to know what's going on to see if there's excessive force or other other uh, practices that need to be uh, changed. And we would like you, city of El Paso, to have a rule to release body cameras after a certain time period. And in case of death, 30 days. For now, the investigation into what happened continues. Oriana Botaro, KTSM 9 News.